Previously! Stanley stepped through the open door. Did I though? Or do I want to just chill over here? Outside seems too easy. What's over here? Absolutely nothing! More recently! What's up players? Welcome back once again to Games with Ben. That's me. We're playing the Stanley Parable and last time I beat the game and now we're back here at this decision. Um, yeah, last time I beat the game and then it like started again but it was something different. The uh, There's there, papers everywhere and it was madness. Absolute madness. So I think there's going to be definitely be something different. I said comment which direction you think I should go in and you did and I gotta give a shout out to Eve James who said go left because you're a lefty and she's my number one fan at the moment so stay awesome Eve and uh, yeah so left it is apart from my mum she's second to my mum's my biggest fan but that's okay so there's something to <gasps> There's no narrator. Yet there was oh, not a no, single he person is. here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I don't want to go the exact same way, so... Hey. That's different. Is it? What does it say? C chart. Free chart. Help I'm a post it. Quarterly pie chart. Profit. Blah, 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 blah. What's it say? Better safe than profits. Wait. What does that say? Business club. Rule one. References are not all they're cracked up to be. I get it. <laughs> kind of. Right. <laughs> He's boarded up the closet. <laughs> oh, I want to go in it. He's freaking boarded up the room. All right. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ah, uh, no, no. Downstairs this time. I'm making this decision. I'm Stanley now. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe... He thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Maybe I am All crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously Nature out painting. of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. <gasps> None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. It's a for loop. example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did <laughs> doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! I'm dreaming! He yelled. This is all a dream! Oh, That's some scary background Stanley noises. Felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. Coffee he wasn't nut. going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, well, I'm still lucid. he imagined himself flying. Lucid dreaming began to is... gently float above Whoa! The then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. Whoa! It was so much fun, <laughs> and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so this lucid? Is mad. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? 
Now the voice was this describing is itself really to clever. the by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. He thought. Amani thought it all very <laughs> odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? This is crazy. Stanley is as awake right now. Mind he's ever blown! In his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? Yeah. How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. I don't know why I'm still going through so the room. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake oh, up. No, 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 no. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh this air is, of a this world is messing with my head. This, this is so one. clever. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. I wish it to Let be me over. go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. It's all I, want. I want my apartment <laughs> and my wife and my job. A wife? All I want is my hey. life exactly the way it's always <laughs> been. Who mentioned a wife? My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Where am I going to wake up, though? I am okay. Uh, I'm still here. Stanley began screaming. <laughs> Someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone uh, hear my voice? Uh, Who am I? Who am I? Uh, and everything went black. Whoa. This is the story of a woman well, named Mariella. A woman? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. No. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, <laughs> then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. I can see and my feet she now. Would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. So he was clever. obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. Yeah. <laughs> and in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. Six nine H said. It was comforting two, to think this, seven, and in a certain see? way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension the rest of her life she had no time for this so it was only a moment that she stood there staring so, down at the body and I'm then dead. she turned and ran am i dead i'm dead the end is never the end is never the end ah oh, the paper's gone Right. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. That sounds different. So this has been Games with Ben. That, that was a short little episode of the Stanley Parable where I go absolutely insane. When Stanley insane. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. And there you go. You guys can decide again. I'm for, you'll probably go for right this time. Or will you? But uh, <laughs> that was the Stanley Parable, and I just went crazy. And how did I? <laughs> I like I've got more questions every time I play this game. Thanks for watching, and if you want to check out my other videos, uh, subs well, check out my channel. And if you want to keep up to date with them, subscribe. If you want to hear an outro done by like a professional, maybe check check out someone else's video because I'm obviously awful at it. And um, yeah, thanks very much.
Uh, don't forget to like if you like, and leave any comments or advice or anything on my Facebook page, which you can find on my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you later, players. That's a wrap.